hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is danny james and today we are going to be looking at a music video that has been done before and i want to go through a few effects that were eye-catching to me and i felt that they would be good to share with you and the video is off the yak by young ma i have a few timestamps which i've recorded the first one happens right here let me slow it down you might have missed it That's a freeze frame effect. There is another one and it's more or less, it's a freeze frame and another one, it's an invert effect. Let's look at them on, on the video. Yeah, this right there. It's an invert effect during a cut and it looks really good when making a transition. I also have a bonus effect that I'm going to be showing you. It's another video, but we'll look at it later on at the end. On my timeline, I have a few scraps of the video that you're going to be using to understand what was really done and how you can actually do it and incorporate the same into your next project. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to be doing that freeze frame, which is like a clone. So we can identify somewhere like right here. Make sure you click on your clip. Let's hold Alt and duplicate this area to have another section. Right here, we need to get a frame of this video. So you can choose to take to export the frame and bring it back. Or alternatively, you can just go right into masking this subject. And I'm going to do that right now. But I want to add a frame hold. There. This frame hold goes on to apply onto the rest of this clip. So you can see it stops right here. In the clip beneath, everything continues running normally. I hope you don't forget that. And the next thing we're going to be doing, we are going to effect controls to our opacity and we're going to take the free draw bezier and make a lining around the subject so that we can only get a frame of the subject only. It doesn't have to be a perfect mask, but you can do it in as much time you want. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, on it. Just go around. If anywhere it goes so far, just come back and rectify it. Let's bring these arrows back. I'm holding Alt to, to bring back this anchor point. And and as I, as I told you, if you need more practice on the pen tool, I'll have another video that should show that. Now that we're done making that mask around the subject, we want this effect to end right here. As of this point, we want to go to a motion and add a keyframe to position. We can take it, uh, let's just alter it. Let's take the subject to the left just quite a bit and move this keyframe right here. So it's right there but you want it to return back to the subject so you can reset the parameters and send this right at the very end. So it should look something like this. Yeah, but I need to add a few more frames so that it travels like that from here to here. To make it more entertaining, I'm also going to duplicate this one. And on this keyframe right here, instead of coming from the left side, I'm going to have it come from the right side. So let's take it to the right. Yeah. What this happens is that we have two clones joining into one and the video continues. Try to label your clip so that you can always have a bird's eye view such that you can see and tell what you have at whatever point. And it runs like this. that way that way and the next one that we're going to be doing it's more or less the same but we want the subject to get into the frame i'm going to drag a different clip so i have a different clip i have a clip of a car and a clip of the same subject where the subject begins i want to duplicate hold by holding alt and dragging up i'll right click and add a frame hold so you have a frame hold of the subject and the background and if we try to disable that everything beneath continues normally 
but right where we start we want to make another mask for the subject so i'm going to my opacity make sure you've clicked on your clip go to opacity and take the free draw brazier bezier tool and let's make another outline quickly Now that you have the freeze frame of the subject, I'm going to go somewhere like here, add a stopwatch to the position keyframe, take it to the left, then go somewhere here and reset it back to normal. Then I'll push that keyframe right to the end. It means that the keyframe is right here when the video resumes and it can start as, as far as this side. And if we play it back, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's more or less like the first one, but Right now we are coming from a different clip to this one and we are trying to bring the subject with it and then the subject in the background continue to, to appear in the video. The other effect that I want to go through is an invert effect, it happens right here. Right there. How all that is done, let's see where the transition happens. Let's transition this video from here to right here. So these are two clips. Let's say they begin like this and it goes to this other one. But in this case, we want to have another clip begin on top of it. And we shall zoom in and make cuts, a few cuts everywhere. Let's make a cut for every frame. That's it. Okay, the first thing we can do, we can delete these areas. I'm going right here and I'll make another cut. So that's it. So on these high hats, this is what it looks like. It's like t -t 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 -t. but on this group of clips, we can now add go to your effect and look for an invert. It's right under channel and drag and drop it. By default, it should invert the video. If you know what invert means. And there are many settings for the invert. You can invert using RGB. You can use to invert a particular color. You can even invert the HLS. There's a ton of options that can be used here. For the bonus effect that I'm going to be showing you, it's from this video. It's from Kahush. It's called Sana Up. And I have the time stop at 1.26. That one. You just saw it. So this isn't very hard to do. We can go back to our timeline. I have a clip which we can do that with. I have a clip of a bunch of people parting. And we're going to be doing the same. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a music video or anything but it looks stylish in a music video, but let's do it right on this video. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to export a frame. Instead of making a duplicate and freezing the frame, which can also be done, I want to export the frame. So you can choose a particular area. Let's say it's right there. There is this little button, and if you cannot find it, it should be under these settings, okay? It should be under this plus button editor. And you can find a range of buttons that can be used here and the export frame looks like a camera so i'm going to export this frame and what i'm going to do i'm going to tick to import the same frame into my project if i go to my project bin it should be right here and i'll drag and drop it at the same place notice i didn't move my cursor but in case i had to i would have just gone to come to this place and pressed m to make a mark and here's the mark and something that is uh, usually confusing, the mark seems to be on the clip. And that is because we had highlighted the clip when you were making this mark. In, in the case we hadn't clicked on anything but had the time bar right here, 
and pressed M, we have the marker right here. In this particular area, let's cut extra. We want the effect to begin right here. We don't want it to end, we want it to begin. And how I go about it, just click on your freezed frame, go to your effects and look for a crop effect. It's right under transform, drag and drop it here. The next thing you're going to be doing, go to your effect controls tab and if you cannot find it, go to windows and look for effect controls. And you're going to be cropping this from the left or the right hand side. You can do it at 50. So this is what happens. We have this section of the video only. We have this right hand side of the video and the left hand side has been cropped out. See? And I want to begin right here. I want to go up to my position once again. It's a matter of playing with keyframes. And the first keyframe is right here. And you're going to go a few frames ahead and take the frame up or down. So this is what it looks like. It's, it's a screenshot which appears going upwards. But if we re-enable the video and look at it, this is what it looks like. You see? It goes up and leaves everything normally. We can do another one. Let's go somewhere right here and export the frame. Make sure to import into the project. And if you don't really have to import into the project, you can say OK. And it should be right here on my desktop. I'll drag and drop it back to my timeline. Again, cut the excess. Make sure you've highlighted your clip, go to effects, drag and drop the crop effect. This time let's crop it from the right at 50%. Let's disable this track output and we have the left hand side still available. And we've cancelled the rest of the area. And again, go back to our motion position keyframe the first one we don't make any change we go ahead and this time let's drop it down let's watch it so those are some of the ways i wanted to show you i hope you've learned a few techniques for freezing frame and cloning subjects that you can use into your next project whether it's a vlog or a music video if you've enjoyed this video you can leave a thumbs up and kindly subscribe, subscribe and subscribe and see you in the next video. Cheers.